What's up, YouTube? Ghostboy Ghoul here. A long time, no spook. Alright, so I just recently beat Shiva X2. My team composition was a little different than uh, everything else I was seeing on YouTube because I was referring to YouTube for assistance. I was struggling with it for quite a bit. Um, of course, we're like over a month into having this battle as an option, and uh, I finally got around to beating it, but I felt like putting a video together on how I beat it uh, because it's quite different than anything I've seen on YouTube previously from several videos that I've seen. Quick break just to say hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button, follow me on Twitch, description's down there, and I wanted to give a major shout out that I missed giving in the video. Yes, I did refer to YouTube, uh, so that's important to mention, but the main supporters of the team composition within uh, are a do-it-yourself kind of guild that was formed through members of a different Discord that I've been part of just since day one, and uh, it's kind of like we all help each other out, right? So I just wanted to give a shout out to a few members in there who who I discussed my team composition with, and they helped work this out, which were the players, um, the uh, Remy, Kelsier, and Faded assist a little assisted a little bit. Uh, you'll see these guys in the top ten, top one hundreds, and a lot of the uh, competitive ranks alongside or ahead of me. So I just wanted to give shout outs to those guys. Anyways, uh, back to the video. Most people are going the magic fire route because Shiva is, of course, weak to fire. You need to deplete her bar. And magic attacks do a heck of a lot more damage than fire attacks to her. So you kind of got to use them. Uh, that being said, a lot of people are going the route of using Aerith with her Easter outfit, giving her 35% fire Arcanum and her egg staff or egg rod, egg staff, I think, uh, because it's high potency of uh, fire damage magic. Or they're using the limited Zack fire Arcanum 35% with his magic fire uh, weapon, which I didn't get either of. If I look at Aerith's weapons right here, let's look what, uh, what options she's got. Uh, look, the uh, egg staff right here, I didn't even get a copy of it yet, so... Um, I didn't use it. Now, thankfully, this is actually the first time I got to put Garden Thrawn to use since I got a copy of it way back when. So I'm happy that, uh, I finally got to put it to some use. But let me show you the team composition I used to beat it. And, uh, then we're gonna go through and, uh, I'm just gonna beat it again for you guys. But, uh, so, one more copy and, uh, I would have had Magic Attack down three tiers from Junk Color, but I didn't need it. I just survived enough with using this. Uh, so, Red was a secondary healer, or primary healer, however you want to look at it, with a little bit of, uh, fire from the Materia, and then I think, uh, Akira, and I think this was just a stat stick, yeah, for heals. Uh, sub equipment, he was just an ice tank. Magic defense, HP, ice resistance, uh, that's all I was packing on him, right? And, uh, second up, Aerith. Uh, this wasn't for physical attack up, but it was for the magic defense up. You know, she's got the debuff and buff potency, Arcanum up, whatever you want to call it, uh, which really helped for keeping the magic defense there, and the magic attack up, which I'll get to in a moment. Otherwise, she was also just ice defense, HP, and, uh, that's, yeah, that's pretty well it. More HP here. Um, she had a little bit of heal from this, but that's about it. Uh, over to Sephiroth. We've got the fire resistance down here. Uh, physical defense doesn't matter so much, but, uh, he was using the fire resistance down, and he was doing all his damage with an AoE fire magic attack weapon, Proton Crimson Blade, one of his starter weapons that came out right when he dropped, uh, it's maxed out. If you've been playing since day one, you probably got this uh, around at least OB6 by now, I would think. But even if you're free to play, I, I would think. I mean, it's a good weapon. Uh, pretty omnipresent for fire users since it's got the attack. So that's why I would assume you'd at least have it uh, a little bit leveled up. Anyways, a bunch of stat sticks otherwise, just for magic attack. Um, and he's got pretty well all magic attack, magic potency, fire potency from, uh, flame projector here. Um, 
It's on Umbrella for magic attack. And then just a little bit of magic defense from the Bahamut ra Rapier and just enough magic attack. Here, like, let's look at his our abilities. I think uh, magic attack straight up just made it with the 55 using these equipment. Uh, physical attack doesn't matter, that just came with the sword. 8 fire potency, 6 attack, got the fire mastery at 20%. Magic ability potency, 3. Magic defense, 3. We're balling. Let's look at the stats. Magic defense, 171. Only, only just under 9,000 HP. You'll see how that uh, plays out. It's pretty neat how it plays out. But, uh, yeah, if you just want to look at the stats there, pause at any moment. Uh, whatever you want, yeah, you know, just pause on uh, any of their equipment and uh, check it out. Try to build something for yourself relative to the stats and the team. Like, So, I, also something else to keep in mind, three magic defense up with this weapon and only two magic attack down with this one. If you can work something out the other way around for three magic attack down and only two magic defense up, that should work too. You know, all in the same. Anyways, alright. Time to get this battle started. Alright, I decided to do a voiceover from my Twitch VOD instead because I did beat it originally on Twitch. Um, so, but I'm just doing a voiceover instead of using the audio for it because I was, there was a lot of banter talking to my Twitch chat. I had channel point blurps coming off, like right there, you see. Uh, so it's just a little noisy. Regardless, how I started off is a silence right on myself with Aerith so that I can use magic attacks. Switch to red, use a frenzied fang. Sephira for a magic def attack down by two tiers. Uh, Aerith is going to pop off magic defense up three tiers. And Sephiroth should use a fire resistance down on his own with Y in that period. And switching to defense stance in time for diamond dust should leave Sephiroth with just a little bit of health up. 170 there. Okay, I've seen 30 or 40 a few times, and he does die sometimes too, so it just depends on how hard Diamond Dust really does hit with the stats I have. You gotta kind of get gotta get lucky. Uh, switch to defense here, or whenever you can remember to, whenever uh, Shiva floats up forward, you want to switch to defense to take that hit. Remember, Sephiroth does need at least 50% HP for Lies Fire Resistance to work. Um... And so you do want to keep his HP up above that as much as you can. Um, when you don't need healing, you want to pop off fire us with everybody uh, to deplete that fire gauge above Shiva's head there. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that Kira on Sephiroth was huge. I think I get a little bugged out about why uh, the fire resistance down isn't working and I have to use it a couple times and I, I still manage so you can there is room for imperfection here it doesn't have to be perfect sorry about the uh, twitch chat in the bottom there guys uh, regardless see how huge the fire aga all is actually hitting amazing anyways we've got a uh, hellfire I popped it off just in time to cancel that animation and there goes the fire meter. Look how excited I was there. Well, I didn't look that excited, but I was. <laughs> On the inside, I was stoked. <laughs> because I think that's the first time I actually cleared the fire meter too. That was my biggest struggle the whole time. Uh, based on not having good single attack fire weapons. Uh, five star fires in um, fire materia potency up 30% slots on weapons just wasn't cutting it. So that was huge. Regardless, from here on out, it's pretty easy. I never even got into this phase before. Uh, look, I'll, I'm also keeping uh, Sephiroth's magic attack up three tiers, thanks to uh, Healing Pulse, uh, Aerith's Garnet Rod, at OB0, mind you. Uh, blurps going off for my Twitch, don't mind that. Ah, that's... Speaking of Twitch, you know, go follow me on it and hit a like on this too. Oh, and also, did you know, like, over 98% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed? Just hit the subscribe button. Why not, right? The, on YouTube, right down below. Hit that subscribe button. Anyways, um, I didn't need any Diamond Sigil Breaker uh, to get through this. Just some Fires was enough. It was pretty straightforward. And I'm like, you know what? We're using this. And this was great too on Aerith because the uh, 
the potency for it stayed up longer, I think. Um, because for, uh, debuff Arcanum, or, and fire potency was up for everybody. And look at that, Aerith died, and I'm like, uh-oh. I think I lost, but I didn't. I just keep going. Just keep going. She wasn't really doing any damage anyways. No more buffs, but apparently I didn't need them. Hellfire comes out, I got, I'm praying. I'm praying. Praying over there. With the magic defense down, I think this is the, well, yes. It's not that I think, it's that I know this is the first time I got this far in the fight on X2. That was huge. I knew I won right then and there. The fire aga alls were going to be enough. And I've got the fire potency up two tiers, so that makes up for not having Aerith and Healing Pulse. There we go. This is it. What an accomplishment. What an achievement. I'm stoked. I was almost under the impression, I was like, did I accidentally click Shiva X1 here? Like, because I, I almost didn't believe that I beat it. But once I seen this, I, I, I could believe it. I believed it. We got it. We beat Shiva X2. I was happy. Hope you're happy too. Thanks for watching. Again, hit that subscribe button. Over 98% of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. I make videos sometimes and you watch them, just hit the subscribe button. They're gonna show up in your recommended feed anyways. It's how the algorithm works. Why not hit the subscribe button? I don't know. I hit the subscribe button. You should too. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitch. Uh, it'll be in the description down below. I stream sometimes. And uh, hope everybody enjoys their day. Take care.